completely describe the action of the force of gravity between two objects in mass. I came up with the famous Newton's law of universal gravitation. So, tell us about your law. It's simple, really. You see, every object in the universe attracts every other object with a force directed along the lines connecting the two centers of the objects. The size of this force is dependent on two factors. One is the mass of the two objects. The other is the distance separating the two objects. Wait, can you explain more, Nikon? Sure I can do. In simple terms, it is this. Firstly, the larger the mass of the two objects, the greater the force of gravity acting on the two objects. Secondly, the further the distance between the two objects, the weaker the force of gravity between the two objects. Simple enough? Well, maybe you can give us an example. Let's take you and me, Einstein. I'm about 40 kg, or you're about 150 kg? 150 kg? No, Mr. Newton. I'm only just 80 kg. Sure. So now there is this force of gravity between us as a result of our two masses of 40 kg and 80 kg. Okay. So what if you are really 150 kg? Then the force of gravity between us will be stronger than the force of gravity that is currently pulling us together. So basically, the larger the mass of the two objects, the stronger the gravitational pull between the two objects. Okay, that is clear enough. Uh, what is the second part of the law again? Assuming now we are further apart. So instead of 20 cm away from each other now, you are 1 km away from me. So let me ask you, is the force of gravity between us now when we are only 20 cm from each other stronger or weaker than we are 1 km away from me? Of course, now that we are nearer to each other, the force of gravity within us is stronger. If you are one kilometer away from each other, obviously it is weaker. Now you understand my law, Einstein. Excellent, Newton. Now, I understand you have described, your law actually describes the force of gravity that acts between two objects with mass. But it seemed to me like common sense. You mean to tell me that you came out of this and call it your law of gravity? Well, I didn't say it was my law. I just state the law. I didn't say it was my law. So don't be jealous that you did not come out of it first. Ha 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 ha! Sure. Now, so you describe completely how the force of gravity acts on two objects with mass. But do you know what exactly is gravity? Well, to tell you the truth, Einstein, I have totally no clue what gravity is. I only describe the force of gravity that acts between two objects. With my law, scientists can use it to send people to the moon and Mars. So I leave it to you to see whether you know what gravity is in science, right? Well, yes. I found out what gravity is and I will explain it to you in our next video.